Okay. <clears throat> Please don't make me go back in here with the big guy. This ain't creepy at all. Yeah. This is what Disney movies are made. Oh, what the fuck? This is the plant. I do like the music though. It's kind of soothing in that creepy, sort of masochistic way, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, more sidling. We are Link from the Legend of Zildar. Zildar! Good man, you're doing good. Keep playing, bro. You don't have to hate me. No, keep playing. He's gonna hate me. You know he is. You know he's coming to hate me. Need to turn off the hot water. Does that teach him a lesson? <sighs> that music was a nice change of pace from the usual scare tree. Basketball court.
Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt. What we believed. The overwhelming fear. Ecstatic rage and... English birds are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... A proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed an horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you... The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Wernick, Los Alamos means government work. Wernick talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions, and sufficient, insufficiently disturbed people. Seems to make, it seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. The morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting, it gets in my head with a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Rorschach tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? He's not going to finish that interview. Probably hell or something. I'm assuming that's what he would say. The way through there. Dude, the movie quit playing. I guess I'm going to do that. There's gotta be a way to climb on top of something somewhere. It's always a vent. Or something. Or it could just be the story. What the hell? You have to find Vertigy. Only way. Well, I wish I could crawl up inside of the locker and just. Relax till this place goes down, or I die, or one, because that would just, it would be terrifying. Nah, I wouldn't give up. I would have to run something. 
Okay, dbrontonus.com to gwillard, willard, markoffcorp.us.com. Subject, return flesh-eating bacteria. Wonderful. Wash those hands regularly. On September 19th, 2013, at 4.19 a.m., Grant, G. blah, 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 wrote, Necrotizing fascists? Fascitist? Fa fascitist? I don't know. Really? I fucking quit. Okay, well. Oh, that's bright. That's bright, too. No going up there. Up the stairs, then. No getting on that balcony. That's what I would assume is right there. I'm not going through the door. Okay, well that's not helping any. Sidling, yay! We're gonna side with this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Rubbing my butt up against the wall. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> So, what happened in the rest of the movie? I got to see the rest of it. I'm sure it was a hit back in 1964. Uh, I guess it wasn't too much of a hit. third floor or something. Damn it. It's that big piece of shit again. Is 
look.